It is that good. With all the heaviness in the world today, I wanted to create something of an escape from reality. Hello, my name is Michael Ori, and I have been a storyteller for as long as I can remember. And like most creatives these days, I'm a filmmaker and a photographer. In fact, I became a photographer because the US 5D Mark II Fast forward a lot of years, thousands of projects, and hundreds of cameras, we are now shooting on the USR 5C. Now, to be completely honest, I'm a storyteller at heart, and I'm not much of a tech spec guy, and I have this attention span of a nap, and probably some HDA, anyway, what was I saying? After a long meeting and a few phone calls with Len Musmechi and Mike Edwards of Canon USA, I had an idea. First thought, thought don't wear steel toe boots in the desert. <clears throat> Secondly, uh, I wanted to put the EOS R5C through a realistic client-ish scenario. Photo, video, limited budget, and with my procrastination skills, very limited time. So I wrote a concept, a very in-depth, funky fashion narrative, which is my favorite thing, called Paces. I gave myself three days to produce a three-minute narrative, four locations, day, night, gimbal, handheld, 4K, 120, 4K, 60, 8K internal raw light, stills with strobe, constant natural light, everything that you could imagine, and my God, am I tired. <laughs> oh, and I didn't do any test shoots because Seems good, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, and why would I do such a thing? Well, I wanted to see how it would be if the camera arrived, opened the box, and went out shooting on it. Now, I typically shoot on the R5 and the C70 for video, and the R5C is slated to be the best of both worlds, so what could go wrong, right? You nailed that. Holy Sack, that's pretty. Well, the answer is absolutely nothing. We open the video in the desert scene in the Little Sahara, which is located two hours south of Salt Lake City. Now, this establishes two things. Jesse Redman as the protagonist, and it also introduces the inspiration for the project, Easy Giant by, actually, what's the name of the band? Easy Giant. And a special thank you to uh, Easy Giant, which is the main inspiration of the video. Now, I've also read a lot of reviews that people are upset because it doesn't have IBIS. Now, IBIS for me isn't a good thing because it's great for still photography and that's all you're doing, but I do both, right? So IBIS can actually cause inherent jerky issues in the image, especially when you are uh, transversing quickly with say a gimbal or something like that, or even like drone photography or drone videography. Um, even with it off in the EOS R5, you'll still see some jerkiness in the camera and this doesn't have it. Love it. I feel like the autofocus in the R5C is on par or slightly even better than the C70, like I said, especially in low light and with darker skin tones in low light. I was, I was really, really worried that the autofocus wouldn't function in that situation because it is such a dimly lit bar and I didn't want to lose the ambience of the bar because it is so beautiful, right? And that's, that's what I wanted to shoot there for. But with all that being said, the tracking shots were absolutely perfect. She takes a step and it focused beautifully on her feet. And then I pop up on her face, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful focus on her face and it tracked the entire time. I can't tell you how surprised I was that, it, that the autofocus worked that well in that low light situation. So the photos in the rest, I very similar setup to the street photos, uh, but on the uh, 600EX strobes, I threw a little bit of a warming gel on them. Yeah, I was shooting a very, 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 very low uh, power on the strobes. Didn't lose any detail in the background, everything. It looks absolutely great. I keep saying this, but I'm, I'm just shocked at how good the photos actually look. They're 45 megapixel. Like, you can do anything with that image. And we're talking about speed. Let's talk about the laundromat scene. We had two hours to shoot the entire thing, 13 shots, 9 to 11 p.m. How did we pull that off? Well, I shot a lot of the scenes in 8K raw light. Now, that allowed me in the edit to actually set up a 
flat shot, Wes Anderson style, and actually use that shot to zoom in and zoom out. And it looks like different cuts, but it's not. It's the same shot, same scene. Like, when you say punch in, is you going to cut to, or are you going to do like that 1970s I'm kind zooming. of pan zoom? I'm, yeah, I'm pan zooming on everything. Like, boom, boom, boom. I like it. Boom. Sounds good. I love it. I am shocked at how beautiful the sky looks, how beautiful the colors look that Jesse was wearing, and the streetwear vibe. The sequin jacket is just popping, the gold top, everything was absolutely flawless. And in that scene, there's a combo of 4K 120, 4K 60, and 8K light, where we were shooting the tracks scene where she actually spills the coffee on her jeans. Funny thing is, we were standing in the middle of the tracks thing, and the train comes by, and uh, the conductor yells at us, you can't stand there. And that's actually in the video, which is really funny. Uh, uh oh. Anyway, the shot looks great. I do want to give a shout out to Aperture Lights. Thank you very much. Everything, including this interview, lit by you guys. One thing you'll notice in this story is that the color red. Now, our stylist Heidi Gress incorporated a lot of red, including a 15-foot fantastic train for the desert scene, which was absolutely amazing, going across the sand at 60 and 120. So hold your dress out a little bit while you're walking so it catches some air. And remember, you're just badass, so big steps. Yes. Catwalk the shit out of it. Ow! I was absolutely amazed at how well it held up in the desert. Uh, we still have some sand, you know, but and that's, that's what this is, right? Putting it through the paces and, you know, sometimes camera gets dirty, that's it. And I'll do the same thing when I have my own EOS R5C, thus I can keep this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please. I love seeing uh, an idea come to life, you know, whether that's a client-based project, you know, day-to-day -day so or a passion project. I love seeing a story that is in my mind uh, come to reality. And today when we were editing the piece, uh, I was just filled with absolute gratitude and joy and so happy with the team. Everybody killed it and uh, I'm just, I'm just really, really grateful uh, that Canon gave us this opportunity and entrusted me with the uh, EOS R5C. And, uh, you know, we, we put it through the paces.